Hi, welcome to Churchill County Library Stor Virtual Storytime. My name is Jess. Today we're reading Extremely Cute Animals Operating Heavy Machinery by David Gordon. And it's published by Simon and Schuster. One beautiful summer day, Karen, an extremely cute animal, was at the playground making a sandcastle. Skylar appeared out of nowhere. Hey, guess what? This is my sandbox, and I say, no stupid sandcastles. He stomped, he smashed, and he walked off laughing. That wasn't very nice, was it? Karen's extremely cute friends were there for her. We'll make a be bigger and better sandcastle, they said. Skyler came back with his buddies, Mike and Trent. What do you think they did? Skyler meant business. What did I say, Karen, huh? I said, this is my playground and no stupid sandcastles. The extremely cute animals were undaunted. but the bullies were watching and waiting. They brought snowboards, pogo sticks, and a bad attitude. But that didn't stop Karen and her friends. The extremely cute animals started building a sandcastle that was bigger and better than before. Here come the bullies. The bullies sprayed, they spattered, and they soaked the castle down. Being extremely cute doesn't mean you can't get extremely mad. What do you think they'll do? An hour later, Karen came back with the biggest, baddest, loudest bulldozer she could find. Move! I, we have a job to do, she said. What do you think they're going to build? Joshua flew in the heavy lift helicopter, and the playground was hoisted away. Those extremely cute animals are working on that playground, aren't they? They're going to imagine a new playground. Steel beams were delivered, measured, and cut, then lifted way, way up. They had a plan. There's Karen. You know what she's doing? She's welding. She has to wear that on over her eyes to protect her eyes from the sparks and the shiny light. The next day, the extremely cute animals opened the grandest sandcastle plus amusement park anyone had ever seen. There were roller coasters, water slides, Ferris wheels, bumper cars, bumper boats, carousels, a tilt-a-whirl, bungee jumping, and a climbing wall. Best of all, no bullies were allowed. Clank, she shut the gate. How do you think those bullies are feeling now? Hmm, what do you think will happen? until Karen opened the gate, just a crack, and said, would you like to come in too? I hope they behave themselves, don't you? Skylar, Mike, and Trent were nervous. They knew the extremely cute animals were extremely angry with them.
But it turned out they were also extremely good at including everyone. There's a special sandbox just for them. From that day on, everyone had an extremely great time riding and racing and even stomping and smashing. The end. I hope you like that story. I'll be reading this story on Wednesday, and then on, we will also be having steam that day, so you can come and build things and observe different things and have a different kind of fun at story time. I hope to see you then.